uh, hail from uh, Dublin and uh, been away for, from Dublin now for over 20 years. Okay. Uh, Australia has been home now for the last uh, 13 to 14 years and it's been fantastic. So I've built up uh, a strong um, line of uh, good quality clients, you know, from the MC and facilitating and corporate comparing point of view. Yeah. And I think what's uh, held me in good stead is um, I keep it very professional, but very simple, but the client is the star of the show, you know, the product is the star of the show, yeah. not necessarily the MC. And uh, having come on board with yourself and Michelle, you know, over the last few years, it's been terrific and it's been a lot of great feedback, I guess, with, uh, with my style. And, uh, and how I sort of run the event or yeah, facilitate yeah. the event. Um, very sort of uh, professional, ethical, um, very sort of well rehearsed, but I think I hope that it comes across uh, quite natural, you know, at the actual yeah. event. Yeah. But it's been about 200% uh, prepared, you know, expecting the unexpected, uh, being ready for it, um, but coming across as a friendly, natural, sort of uh, professionally well run event, where, as I say, I'm not the star of the show, even though, you know, it's six foot seven. You know, and uh, a few kilos, uh, you know, I tend to sort of uh, get noticed by a lot of people. Um, yeah. But I've had a lot of um, quite good feedback, you know, which states that, um, you know, you did a great job. And the MC wasn't a memorable part of the event, which I think is always a, a strong positive. Yeah, that was uh, very interesting. It was a, a, a significant uh, government event uh, here in Sydney. And what happened was, um, due to unforeseen circumstances, one of the presenters could not attend uh, right at the very last moment. And I found myself with a room full of, um, well, this particular section of the conference was the finance section. So the majority of the 100 people in that breakout room were there to listen to a finance professional talking about government finance. Okay. And yet they had a, a tall Irish MC here, you know, explaining why that actual presenter wasn't there. And there was 100 people staring at me saying, OK, well, well, now what? Now what do we do? And I guess what I was able to draw upon, you know, thinking about it after the event was... Um, I, I got through it and it worked very, very well, but I think it was 10 or 12 or 15 years of experience that came to the fore yeah. during that one hour. And uh, I was able to go back to um, you know, a lot of, little bit of humour, a little bit of good-natured uh, conversation with the audience, but I kept them engaged. It actually um, it went on to about 45, 45, 48 minutes. Wow. Uh, we didn't actually know if the presenter was on her way. We thought she may have been on her way, um, so I kept extending it. Yeah. and uh, doing a little bit of sort of feedback done a lot of facilitation a lot of uh, auctioneering uh, type of work for yeah. events um, a broad range of events whether they're um, you know family occasions uh, happy or sad occasions that need a professional MC yeah. to uh, guide the actual um, client or family through that particular occasion through that particular event and regardless of the occasion you have to maintain your composure and professionalism and uh, you're there to do a job yeah you know whether it's a usually a very happy occasion or in some circumstances not always you know quite so happy you know depending on the actual event i can be very accommodating very flexible in regards to the location of the event the style of the event uh, very often at short notice as well yeah um, which has uh, which has been great yeah hi it's uh, roy mccullough here and i'm really delighted that you have made the inquiry I've been emceeing now for quite a few years and I guess what I get the most satisfaction out of is seeing the smile on the event organizer's face, the positive feedback, the return bookings that I get year in, year out. The secret to a professional MC is somebody who really takes ownership of the event. And what I mean by that is the planning, the pre-production, the event itself, following on from the event. I take personal ownership and I take great pride in, uh, in all the events that I participate in and that has led to quite a few bookings and uh, quite a lot of repeat business over the years. My style is very much uh, very professional, very warm, very embracing, really make the audience feel as though they are part of the event. Whether you want a sophisticated, uh, very elegant event or you want something a little bit more light, uh, a little bit of humour, a little bit of comedy. I've got the answer for you and it will be my pleasure to work with you for your event.